Time to musk up. Wow. How you doing, YouTube? Um, hope everyone's doing well. Um, I wanted to make a video about Signature Tabak because it should be arriving soon. So I wanted to give people an idea of what they should be smelling. Um, and also I wanna say, uh, sorry, I haven't uploaded in over a month. Uh, things have been a little hectic, but I have been on uh, Instagram, uh, same as my YouTube name, Time to Musk Up, except with a number two. So Time to Musk Up too. Somebody has Time to Musk Up. I wonder who the hell it is. All right. Now this, I want to uh, speak on the signature Tabak, this little sample here, or decant, uh, was a gift from George. Um, but that being said, I will not speak on whether I like it, love it, or hate it. I'm just going to speak about uh, smell. Um, so, as you can see also here, I have the cigar. Um, this is the mild one. This was actually a gift from Patrick from Scent Assault. I wanna say thank you very much, Patrick. Uh, great cigar, very smooth. Um, I'm not a connoisseur, so I don't know how to explain or describe how a cigar tastes or smells or anything like that. So, uh, but all I can say is that it is smooth. Um, very nice, so thank you, Patrick. All right, so. Signature Tabak. Worn it uh, a couple of times now, and what I do want to say is, um, a lot of times when we talk about tobacco fragrances, it's always followed up by a bunch of sweetness, whether it might be vanilla or honey. And I was kind of worried about that part. Um, but fortunately here, I think the tobacco is up front and center, but not way up front, um, that there is other notes playing with it. I know it's called Signature, but I remember him saying that in the base, they use the uh, Signature Noir. And I would, uh, I would agree because in the original Signature, I think there's a fair amount of Lavender, a fair amount of resins in that one as well, and spices, but um, which is in here also. But I think the lavender is not up front like it is in Signature. Um, from the nozzle, when you smell it, you'll get this kind of uh, cigar humidor smell. Um, in some stores, when you walk in, it's just a huge room of, you know, hundreds and hundreds, thousands of cigars. And the smell is divine. And that's what I get here. Except this, these cigars are almost kind of have a uh, kind of dipped in cognac almost. Um, best way I can describe or possibly like a rum. Um... In this, I also get some anise. Definitely get some spice here. Um, um, I don't get much of the oud, but I do get a lot of the cedar note. Um, the cedar note, I definitely get it. So a very uh, woody, resinous, spicy tobacco. In this, if you smell it, um, you kind of get the impression of something like uh, vanilla, but uh, surprise! I was surprised that it was not listed um, in this. So something is giving me this kind of, uh, I would say more of a benzoin uh, type of feel, more uh, incense resinous, vanillic feel that uh, benzoin gives off. Gives off. Um, and I did notice there was a amber, it's black amber. I'm not really sure what the difference is, 
but of course, amber is built around labdanum, vanilla, and benzoin. So uh, it, it, it's definitely in there, but it's not a lot. I think I'm getting more of the sweetness from the cognac and the rum is mostly where it's coming from. A very resinous sweetness, a uh, very mature sweetness. Um, yeah, um, some of the florals in here. I don't. I don't think this is. I get too many florals here. Um, when you smell this, it definitely smells familiar. Um, like it's definitely related to the other ones in the line. Um, it is a little smooth as well, so I would say the sandalwood comes into play here a little bit as well. But I would say mostly the cedar here. Um, definitely some fir balsam, and that can give off a little sweetness as well, almost like an outdoorsy, um, greenish, kind of sappy uh, sweetness. So what we have here, to sum it up, I would say best is you have here a cigar dipped in cognac or rum with spices, resins, and woods. Just to sum it up there uh, for what you will, should expect from here. But I definitely think the tobacco and then the cognac and then the woodiness here is up front and then the resins and the spiciness um, uh, plays a huge role in this as well especially I get a lot of uh, I get a lot of that also as well some of that myrrh from signature uh, I get a lot of it from the original and I definitely get it in this one as well uh, definitely some frankincense because um, there is a little bit of um, mysterious smokiness in this so um yeah uh, i hope that helps anybody that is receiving this um to hold you off until it arrives i know it's delayed a little bit but um uh, everything in uh in life seems like it's delayed but uh nonetheless uh, i hope everyone's been well and i hope everyone takes care bye